bless you. My name is Adi Ajayi. By the grace of God, the parish pastor of RCCJ, Thanksgiving House, based in Jamesford, Essex, United Kingdom. And we're reflecting from the Open Evans Daily Devotional Guide written by Pastor E. A. Debe, the General Messiah of the Redeemed Christian General God. Our topic today is Fulfilling God's Purpose, Part 1. And we're taking a main Bible passage from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 1 to 10. The words of Jeremiah, the son of Ikai, of the priests that were in Anathoth, in the land of Benjamin, to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. In the thirteenth year of his reign, he came also in the days of Joachim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the end of the eleventh year of Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the carrying away of Jerusalem, captive in the fifth month. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Ha, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that ash shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand, and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in my mouth. Say, see, I have this day set thee over the nations, and over the kingdoms, to root out, and to pull them, and to destroy, and to throw them, to build, and to plant. A memory verse. It's taken from Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. See, I have this day set thee over the kingdoms, to root out, and pull them, and to destroy, and to throw them, to build, and to plant. Our reflections. Our Bible passage today speaks clearly about the purpose that God had for Jeremiah as a prophet, not just to Israel, but also to the surrounding nations. This goes a long way to prove to us that God has a purpose for our lives. And we're not a bunch of mystics. No matter the circumstances of our birth, God has a unique purpose and agenda for each of us. We need to discover that unique purpose first and then work in it. The book of Acts, chapter 15, verse 18 says, That known unto God are all his words from the beginning of the world. In other words, we were in the mind of God before he created us. He knew specifically the purpose which he wanted us to fulfill here on earth. That is why he said unto Jeremiah that while he was yet in his mother's womb, God knew him. Friends, our lives will lack meaning if we do not discover or understand the purpose for which God created us for. It is not too late to discover our purpose. All we need to do is to seek the face of the Lord and ask him to reveal his purpose for our lives unto us. I am sure he will. He will. Real joy comes when we discover the unique purpose of our lives and then walk in our purpose. It is my sincere prayer that we will not toil in this life and then fulfill another man's purpose in Jesus' name. Our prayer point. Father, please help me to discover my unique purpose in this life and also grant me the grace to function effectively in my purpose. Thank you, Lord. Have a good day, and God be with you, and I pray that this year, 2016, you will fulfill destiny, you will fulfill your purpose, in Jesus' name. Amen.